Hello everyone and welcome to Movie Review UK. My name is Michael Jameson. My name is Jason Cockroft. And today we are doing your Netflix picks for March. What we've been watching on Netflix in the last month. Before we get into the video, Jason, you've got a channel. I have got a channel. And it's a movie channel. Movie reviews called Should I Watch It? So the target audience is the people who watch this channel. That is very true. Yeah, it's uh, movie reviews helping you decide if you should watch it. No spoiler reviews. Um, we just give you the gist of it, basically. Amazing. Go and check them out. The link is in the description. But what have we been watching on Netflix this month? So first of all, I'm going to kick it off very briefly and talk about the Human Centipede final sequence. I did a full review on the channel so you can watch it. Have you watched the review? I haven't. I really want to watch it, so I feel pathetic. bad. I feel bad that I haven't watched oh, it, so I really want to as well. Pathetic. Because I don't, I don't have the balls to watch the film, so... Can you just... Uh... Can we do that again and you say, yeah, I saw it, it's the best review I've ever seen. Jason, have you seen it? It's the best review I have ever seen. Like, What score did I give it? <laughs> Splin Splinty 2. <laughs> I'm the one trying to persuade you to convince them that you've seen it and I'm trying to trick you. No, it's, it's, it's Splinty 2 out of Squidly 10. Correct. Oh, you have watched it? Yes. Uh, no, I can't say I enjoyed it all that much. It's a very watchable film in the sense of it's just it's car crash. It's it's awful, horrendous. Don't watch it. Jace, what have you been watching? I've been watching Darknet, which is um, a TV series, Canadian. Um, it doesn't look like it's very high budget, but it doesn't look low budget. Um, but it's, it's about um, a website called Darknet, which is basically a bit like a snuff film site. Um, people Just clarify them. what snuff film is. Uh, that's where people die on film and people watch that for pleasure. Fuck. When you were describing it to me earlier, I almost got like it sounded a bit like The Ring a little bit. I would say it's not like The Ring, I think it's probably more like um, VHS or okay. um, or ABCs of Death, but better, like, especially the first episode. Give the first episode a watch and see if you like it. It's really twisted. Uh, if you like like twisted horror and a bit of, you're a little bit of a sadist, you'll probably like it. It's rated, it's rated like two and a half stars on Netflix, but I, I think it's actually very good. Apparently the algorithm that they use for the stars is based on what you've watched previously. So it's not actually the overall rating, which really? I find weird. That's what I heard. I'm not 100% sure if that's true. Let us know in the comments below yeah, if you know how they work out. out. Have a look at, also look at Darknet and if it's not two and a half stars when you see it, let us know because that would be interesting. Experiment. Experiment. Love it. Yeah. Uh, next thing I want to talk about is Love. Uh, I think you've seen some of that, haven't you? I have. Yeah, I watched the first episode, the pilot one. Uh, Claire and I have seen the whole thing. Thoroughly recommend it. Um, I can't remember the actresses' names. Uh, actually, Gillian Jacobs is one of them, but I don't remember the dude's name. But it's just a really nice story, a very realistic love approach. It's almost got, if you liked him and her, uh, it's almost got a similar kind of vibe to it. It's a very realistic love story, and it's just full of emotion. It's full of humour, very funny, very touching, very endearing. And we both really liked it, didn't we, Claire? Yeah, loved it. Loved it. Uh... Pun. Pun girl. Um, <laughs> Oh, I'll tell you something we both watched recently, Olympus Has Fallen. Yeah, I absolutely love that, it's an incredible film. I'm very much excited for London Has Fallen in cinemas now. Correct. Um, I watched it, I've not seen it before, so I was watching it in preparation of London Has Fallen. And yeah, bloody loved it actually. Um, just a very kind of, I, I wouldn't say mindless action film, I'd just say like a, a popcorn action film. Yeah, yeah easy very watch. easy watch. Uh, really entertaining, Gerald Butler's awesome in it. Um, it's got plenty of action and uh, yeah, just a very, very cool movie. And something that you mentioned uh, before I watched it, it was something actually I forgot when I was watching it, and then so when it happened I was shocked. Civilian casualties. Yeah, civilian casualties, which is always good because they don't generally do that in films. Yeah, correct, especially with blood. Yeah. Like, it's just like, oh, 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 a plane uh, or a helicopter is uh, using an industrial uh, minigun as opposed to those home miniguns that you can get. Yeah. Um, to shoot up a street. Oh, no one's dead though. <laughs> no, not this fucking limbs flying off. There's blood yeah. splat. I did see one mistake, which I thought that's a ridiculous mis mistake to include. Uh, it was in a hospital um, and a guy had clearly had his arm blown off because he'd got blood all up his arm um, and his arm was off. Um, the only thing is he was just... Like he was clearly an amputee person because there was no, it was a clean, it was, oh, it was a, a clean a, stump. A, yeah, it was a clean stump. <laughs> so it was like, it was really weird because they had like a head bandage. Unless he was just a stumped. I'm not saying that stumped person people. That's not the right word for them. Oh, mm. racist. Yeah, maybe his prosthetic arm just fell off. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> part of the blast. Healed. Like maybe like it's yeah, like a bullet hit his prosthetic arm, bounced it off, and then it's just because the blood on his <laughs> sleeve, you're assuming that he had his arm blown off, but in fact he could just be an amputee with an injury. Could be, could be. Um, but yeah, I highly recommend that. 
Uh, yeah, I thought it was kind of. I'm gonna stick my neck out and say it's kind of like um, Die Hard for this generation. Yeah, I think that's fair. Um, fair it's that same sort of thing, isn't it? The guy by yeah. himself defended himself in a in a what singular building. Good catchphrase. Um, as well. He gets injured as well. He's not all like Superman goes around and never gets hurt. Like yeah. he, does, he gets hurt and he, get, and he makes mistakes and correct whatever else. I'm still watching How I Met Your Mother, but I don't know if I want to mention it on there because that's on there for, been on there for ages. Yeah, it's it? embarrassing as well. Yeah. I love that. I absolutely love How I Met Your Mother. How I Met Your Mother. Oh, we have, we've never watched it, have we? Mm. We're not going to. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for watching, everyone. What have you been watching on Netflix in the last month or so? We'd love to hear. Get in the comments below. I try to reply to everyone and usually succeed. Bye! Bye! Before... Before we get into... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>